Welcome to the fourth video in our series on finding reliable health information online. My name is Jamie Bloss and I am a health sciences librarian at East Carolina University. In conjunction with a grant from the National Library of Medicine that is a partnership between ECU, NC State University, and Student Action with Farm Workers, we wanted to bring these trainings to you to help reinforce and even expand your knowledge of how to find reliable health information online. We wanted to give a huge thank you to all the outreach workers who participated in focus groups with Catherine Le Prevost and her team at NC State. Without you, these trainings would not have been possible. A Spanish version of each video is also available. We took the topics for this video series directly from information, concerns, and questions that folks had in the outreach fo worker focus groups. You can see here what one focus group participant said about the importance of finding reliable and research-based information when using the internet to prepare for health education. So translated from the Spanish, they wrote online, but it should come from a source that is 100% accurate and one that has already been identified and the information on the page is correct. So a big thank you to everyone who participated and gave us the ideas to film these training sessions. Our learning outcomes for this video are to be able to conduct a basic search in PubMed and understand how to read your results page and limit your search. Lastly, I will show you how to access some articles for free. You might be asking, why would I use PubMed? And it is a great free database to look up biomedical literature. If you are a practicing healthcare worker, this is a wonderful site to look up peer-reviewed articles and systematic reviews to get clinical and scientific information. I will say these are research articles and studies, so it's not directed at a consumer or easy to read. But if you need to look up quality studies and articles, this is a great way to do that. So here's the link to navigate to PubMed or you can follow along with me and open your web browser and type in pubmed.gov. So from here, um, we'll type in our search terms just like doing a Google search. So let's type in hypertension and stress. We heard during the focus groups that both hypertension and stress were important topics in farm worker health and we wanna look for articles on the relationship between high blood pressure and stress. So go ahead and hit search. So we get a large amount of results, over 25,000. So let's use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow our results down. We can filter by year. So let's move the slider to 2015 to look for results published in the past five years. You can also just use the publication filter below. We can check for articles in our preferred language, so we could select English or look for another language by going to additional filters, clicking on language, and then selecting any of the languages that you would like to read in. So let's select Spanish and hit show. And now we can select Spanish in our filters menu. So now we have 28 results overall. To view an article summary, click on the title in blue. We can then read more about the article and see if we want to get the full text of the article. You can navigate between articles by clicking the next result arrow on the right. Let's look at this article, The Role of the Mediterranean Diet on the Prevention of Alzheimer's Disease. You can click on the free text link for CLO.org on the right side. Some articles will be open access or free like this one, and others you might need to pay or ask a library to get it for you for free. So with this particular article, we can download the PDF file here. There's also a link out section at the bottom of the page where you can also try these links to get the full text. 
You can also try Google Scholar or ResearchGate.net by copying and pasting an article title into either search engine. Let's go back to our search results and select this article, Work-Related Stress Implications for Physical and Mental Health. We can just copy the title and go to scholar.google.com to access Google Scholar and paste in the title. In this case, if you're not affiliated with ECU, you wouldn't be able to get the full text of this particular article for Google Scholar. But we still have another option. So let's copy that title again and go to researchgate.net. Researchgate.net is a free website for professionals and academics to connect to each other, sort of like a social media site for academics. You can join for free and now I can see when I paste in the title of the article here that it says the full text is available and I can download the article directly from the authors. In some cases, if the article doesn't show up on this site to download immediately, you can always send a request to the author for free and they'll often send you the full text. So keep in mind, sometimes PubMed does pull irrelevant looking results if you did try a search on hypertension and stress. So you can always adjust your original terms you use to search by going back up to the search box. Or you can always take away one of the filters you've applied if it narrows down your results too much. So to summarize, PubMed is a free database from the government that you can use to access biomedical literature online. Not all the articles are free, but some articles are open access and available through PubMed. You can also use Google Scholar or ResearchGate.net to try to obtain other articles for free. Or please contact a librarian for additional help using this database if you would like help evaluating a research article.